Lidmar LMTV, Lidmar Television. Lidmar, your news starts now. Hey, Lidmar, it's Tuesday, January 30th, 2024. It's Croissant Day. Here's what's happening across the campus. Topping our news, we're learning about Mrs. Vasky's new Exploring Education Venture Strand. Mrs. Vasky and Amy is here with the report. Today we are going to be learning about the Exploring Education Venture Strand taught by Mrs. Vasky, who we're lucky to have here with us today. Could you please tell us what courses students get credit for in this new course? Sure. Students get credit for three dual enrollment Kirkwood courses, including Child Growth and Development, Exploring Teaching, and Behavior Management which is for 15 college credits and five additional venture education credits. Students will get credit for all of the same courses as if they took the courses traditionally, but learn in a more hands-on, community-engaged way. And could you give us some examples of learning in a more hands-on or community-based way? Yeah, students enrolled in this Exploring Education strand will facilitate our new in-house child development social learning program for three and four-year-old children from our community. Students will work on implementing activities with the children, and also there are opportunities to go out to the elementary or middle school schools to observe teaching at those levels. And why should students consider participating in Venture? Well, for anyone who's considering a career working with children as in teaching or early childhood, this Venture strand will provide great first-hand experience. Students will also become first aid or CPR certified and can apply for their paraeducator certification when they complete it. And how do you sign up for this course? Just talk to your counselor or sign up for the Venture Exploring Education courses when you register and students will be selected with the teacher or counselor approval following their application. Thank you, Mrs. Vasky. Back to you guys. Thanks, Amy and Mrs. Vasky. Hazel Point will be hosting a middle school math counts competition on Saturday February 3rd. They are looking for high school student volunteers to help with the scoring of rounds. This is a great opportunity to earn chords hours. If interested, please contact Tim Wiles at ttwiles at terracon.com. And those are the LTV headlines at this hour. I'm Caden with Linmar Sports. JV and Varsity Girls and Boys Bowling meet Kennedy today at 3 p.m. at Cedar Rapids Bowling Center Lanes. JV2 Girls Basketball will host Washington at 4.15. Varsity Wrestling will host IHSA Regional Duels. Meet starts at 6 p.m. JV1 and Varsity will compete at Cedar Rapids, Washington tonight. If you are a guy interested in playing soccer this spring, there is a meeting for players and parents tonight, January 30th, from 6.30 to 7.30 p.m. in the lecture hall. Information about practices, ordering apparel, and the coaches' expectations will be shared. That's sports. Guys, back to you. Thanks, Kaden. In news from the counselors. Seniors, check your next scholarship opportunity. Now's the time to submit your greatest Cedar Rapids Community Foundation scholarships. Applications are posted in Zello. Scholarships must be filled out and turned into the counseling office by Thursday, February 15th. Also be sure to visit Zello Weekly for new scholarship opportunities. There are currently local scholarships uh, available for you to apply for today. Don't miss out on this great opportunity to lessen the cost of tuition. Scholarship deadlines are fast approaching. Now here's Rowan with the Arts and Clubs. Board Game Club will be held today at 4.15 in the Learning Center. Everyone is welcome to attend. Attention FBLA members. FBLA is having a member meeting this Friday, February 2nd at 8 a.m. in the Lecture Hall. Sign up for Business Achievement Awards and gain valuable skills in a speech workshop. As always, donuts and juice will be provided. Don't miss out. Due to recent weather, FBLA has extended the food drive until February 5th. Donations will go to the Veritas Church. If you have any non-perishable food items to donate, please drop them off in the boxes at the four corners. Contest speech members, a reminder that if you are participating in individual speech, check your email for information about rehearsals. Those practices will begin this week. Back to you guys. Thanks, Rowan. For lunch downstairs, it's macaroni with cheese. The other lines offer pizza, salads, or sandwiches. In the food court, it's hamburgers. For breakfast tomorrow, it's a cinnamon roll with frosting. Your LMTV forecast calls for partly cloudy skies with moderate winds today with a high near 38. Tomorrow, it warms up with sunny skies and a high of 46. And Thursday brings mostly cloudy skies with a high of 47. That wraps up today's edition of LMTV News. LMTV is always available online. Just go to Lindmar website or check us out on YouTube. Join us again tomorrow. And make it a totally tyrannical two-wheeler Tuesday, Lindmar.